just only about agriculture, that if you can move from your analysis, that if you can move agriculture further than where it is right now, the mm. economy will grow to up percent. She will have it in mind that the larger economy, about 52%, is dominated by services. Yeah. So even if you, because if you want to say you want to grow the economy, mm. it's not just, because if you say, if you're building a service-oriented economy, that's a different conversation. But that's also not easy. Because services are, service are serving a, a class of, of things. So agriculture is plugged to that services. Oil and gas is plugged to that services. It's like you say banking is part of services. But if your banking industry is solid, if it's strong, it's just because there is an agri, there's an oil and gas, there's a trade, there's everything that's connected to the services. So I, I, I think when it comes out that we think we, we can really, because look at China for all this glorious uh, mm. growth. I mean, it was doing eight, nine percent consistently over a long period of time. So it's say 10, 12, the kind of investment you need. So number in one, you can, in four years, number one, this kind of significant foreign direct investment you need to bring in, that is huge. Mm -hmm. Then you also have to look at the kind of productivity level and human capital investment you need to put in place. That will not generate overnight. Then you also now have to look at the policies, the, the, the solutions, the ideas, the things that you need to put there, you can ease business. Those are things that will not happen overnight. So, you know, I even read articles ourselves too. Mm. There were conversations around doubling our GDP yes. per capita. We'll, we'll, we'll come to yeah. articles.